Today we're going to show you how to correlate metrics and logs with SPM and Logzine. I'm going to start by posing a few questions that might sound familiar to you. How do I troubleshoot a specific production performance issue? What do I do when I get an alert from my performance monitoring system? Should I really be SSHing to my servers and looking at logs? Should I be grepping? If you've asked yourself any of these questions, then this video is for you. So in this short video, we'll show you how you can use SPM with Logzine and never have to SSH to multiple servers just to grep logs for errors. Not only is this way of doing ops much more fun, it's also a big time saver. First, a brief introduction to the tools. SPM is a performance monitoring service that collects performance metrics from your applications and servers. It has integrations for an array of technologies, chat ops, and has support for anomaly detection, alerting, etc. Logzine is a log management service you can ship your logs to and make them searchable and shareable with the rest of your team. So let's get started and see what you can do when you have metrics and logs together in one place. We're looking at an SPM app that monitors a small solar cluster. And as you can see, we've defined a few alert rules. One of the alert rules notifies me when errors from transaction tracing increase. So here it is, an alert I received recently in my email. Whoa, I see spikes with a few hundred errors every few hours. So let's click on this link and see what this is about. So the link leads me to the transaction tracing chart with solar errors and responses, where my alert was defined. These metrics indicate potential problems but the evidence is hidden in the logs. So we've got this logs button to show related logs in SPM. We see now the number of all logs in a chart. The source is a Logzine app connected to my SPM app, and we can switch here to other Logzine apps. Let me quickly show you how we can connect Logzine and SPM apps. So simply click on the connect button. Two combo boxes let you choose SPM and Logzine apps and connect them together with three clicks. But let's go ahead with our troubleshooting workflow. We see here that the number of total logs does not correlate to the spikes in the error graph. So we could search for errors or simply use the log filter to search for errors only. And now we see clearly the correlation of spikes in log graph and our error metrics. We're on to something here. We can display the log messages themselves with the show logs button. And here we see the error messages, including exceptions and stack traces. We're getting closer. To see all the fields of the log message, we can open the details. Here, we see the reason for the increased errors, like queries with wrong syntax from some clients. And if we need more space to see all the messages, there is this full screen in the top right corner of the log area. Here we see more log events and can explore details. Let's hit escape to get back to SPM. It took only a minute to find this error and we could share it now with the developers. If you need to use the full Logzine functionality to analyze logs, you can simply switch completely to the Logzine UI, where you'll find features that will let you slice and dice logs, publish them to GitHub Gist, create alerts on them, etc. I hope this little video about metrics and logs in SPM helps you to save time in the future. 